ultra-fast charging graphene batteries finally hit the market. What's the big deal about graphene batteries? Is it really that revolutionary? How long until we see graphene batteries take over? Don't worry, you'll get to all the answers. Just watch the video closely because this one is going to be really exciting. Welcome to eMotion. In today's video, you'll get to learn about all the details of the ultra-fast charging graphene batteries. So without any further ado, let's start the video. What's the big deal about graphene anyway? The big deal is that graphene-based batteries charge really fast. ElectJet's upcoming Apollo Ultra can top up its 10,000 mAh capacity in just half an hour easily. This really hits home when you realize most batteries at this capacity take a couple of hours to get fully charged. The Apollo Ultra's performance relies a fair bit on having a 100-watt charger, but the graphene cathode is what's doing all the heavy lifting here. Okay, but how does a graphene battery even work? We're just getting to that. First, let's run through a quick refresh on how lithium-ion batteries work. In short, a battery has two main compartments separated by a porous membrane. When you charge a battery, it's pulling electrons from one compartment to the other. The membrane prevents those electrons from drifting on back to their natural home on the starting side. When a battery circuit is completed by a gadget needing some juice, those electrons have a path back. So those electrons run through all of the hoops they need in order to get back to their starting point, thus creating the wonderful electrical current we need to watch cat videos on YouTube. Now, these electrons need somewhere to chill on either side. Traditionally, the negatively charged anode side of a lithium-ion battery uses graphite. It's carbon, it's stable, and it's just clingy enough to electrons so that they'll stay there, but not so clingy that they can't be pulled off. The anode side is the side that is pulling the electrons when you're charging a battery. Graphene is a single molecular layer of graphite. Due to this structure, graphene is even more stable than graphite. It provides a unique lattice for electrons to settle into above and below the sheet without having other sheets to bump into, as with graphite. Graphene can be 70% more conductive than copper, which seriously improves battery charging performance. Okay, so I just want to ask one simple question before going any further. When was the first battery invented? If you know the answer, let me know in the comment section below. So, fast charging, that's it? Ugh, such a cynic. The other upside of using graphene is its extended overall life cycle. Since graphene is more stable than graphite, it degrades much more slowly. As you charge and discharge a battery, the mediums that hold the electrons at anode and cathode get a little busted up from pulling electrons from them all the time. The carbon atoms in graphene have super tight bonds, which, according to ElectJet, afford the Apollo Ultra battery over 2,500 power cycles compared to the usual 500. While that remains to be seen throughout everyday use, a five times reduction in battery waste could very well outshine the initial novelty of fast charging. Graphene versus lithium ion. Just like lithium ion batteries, graphene cells use two conductive plates coated in a porous material and immersed in an electrolyte solution. But while their internal makeup is quite similar, the two batteries offer different characteristics. Graphene offers higher electrical conductivity than lithium ion batteries. This allows for faster charging cells that are able to deliver high quality currents as well. This is particularly useful for high capacity car batteries, for example, or fast device to device charging. High heat conductance also means that batteries run cooler, prolonging their lifespan even in cramped cases like a smartphone. Graphene batteries are also lighter and slimmer than today's lithium ion cells. This means smaller, thinner devices or larger capacities without requiring extra room. Not only that, but graphene allows for much higher capacities. Lithium ion stores up to 180 watt hours of energy per kilogram, while graphene can store up to 1000 watt hours per kilogram. Finally, graphene is safer. While lithium-ion batteries have a very good safety record, there have been a few major incidents involving faulty products. Overheating, overcharging, and puncturing can cause runaway chemical imbalances in lithium-ion batteries that result in fire. Graphene is much more stable, flexible, and stronger, and it's more resilient to such issues. You don't have to have one or the other, though. Lithium-ion batteries can use graphene to enhance cathode conductor performance. These are known as graphene metal oxide hybrids or graphene composite batteries. Hybrid batteries result in lower weight, faster charge times, greater storage capacity, and a longer lifespan than today's batteries. So how long until we see graphene batteries take over? 
The Apollo Ultra is Electjet's fourth graphene battery, but there are few signs of other manufacturers making some moves. Graphene-based fast charging is getting to the point where it can pose a significant competitive advantage in a sea of samey battery packs. The proliferation of this tech depends on other companies recognizing the advantage and starting to include it in their products. Even when that decision is made, it can take a couple of years for small players to implement that strategy. It might be some time until it even registers on the radar of big manufacturers. It's really on those big guys to bring the production of graphene battery packs to a scale that results in widespread adoption. We may not even notice when it happens. After all, we just see that our batteries are charging more quickly. It'll be a matter of years before graphene batteries have a shot at popularity, but we'll be keeping an eye out for them. Graphene has been studied for years and has shown tons of promise. Advances in battery tech are few and far between, so it's exciting when they actually hit the market. While it's great news for those of us looking for a way to top up phones, laptops, and tablets quickly, there are larger scale applications to keep in mind. It's easy to see how a graphene-based portable smartphone battery will eventually be developed into large-scale commercial batteries for solar and wind energy production. The future of graphene in the battery industry. Currently, graphene is just being introduced and integrated into battery technology. The biggest obstacle to overcome is the extremely high price of the manufacturing process of thin graphene sheets. As production processes become more refined and cost-effective, the possible applications of graphene will continuously grow. The most promising utilization of graphene is in conjunction with traditional lithium-ion batteries. This is done by incorporating graphene into the cathodes and anodes of the battery. In simplest terms, the cathode is where the energy flows out of the battery and the anode is where the energy flows in. The cathode and anode are where most resistance and therefore heat is generated. By increasing the conductivity and decreasing the resistance of the cathode slash anode materials, more energy can be transferred at a faster rate at a safer manner. Large companies such as Tesla Motors, Samsung, and Microsoft have shown extreme interest in the development of graphene batteries. As interest and funding in graphene grow, we can expect to see faster and faster development of new technologies. As batteries continue to evolve, they will naturally become more efficient. With the introduction of graphene into the mix, the possibilities for future capabilities of battery technology are endless. Will we have nearly instant charging periods and be able to go weeks before having to recharge our devices in the near future? It's difficult to predict the exact advancement of batteries, but today we can safely say graphene will be an integral part of the next step of battery technology. How does graphene compare to other rechargeable batteries? Lithium ion batteries and graphene batteries can be used to power similar devices and transfer energy in similar ways. Although both lithium ion and graphene batteries share similarities in design and application, they differ greatly when it comes to speed of energy transfer, safety aspects, and service life. The main reason that graphene batteries are so much more efficient than traditional batteries is fairly simple, heat. Whenever energy is transferred to a device, a large amount of excess heat energy is created as a byproduct of the resistance of its conductors. Lithium ion batteries conduct energy while exhibiting relatively high resistance, which generates relatively high levels of heat. As the lithium becomes unevenly heated, resistance increases further, creating a cycle of progressive inefficiency. This excess heat is also harmful to the battery and the device itself. Although modern lithium ion batteries are fairly safe and stable, occurrences of catastrophic failures of the battery can result in fire or explosion. All right, guys, that was pretty much it for this video. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to smash the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. Thanks for watching.